Hello, and welcome to today's SAP Business One video on reporting, specifically focusing in on purchasing reports. Today, I'll give you a high level overview of some of the cool reports that a purchasing user may use in the system and show you how easy it is to access these reports. So you can see I'm logged in here in my purchasing cockpit as an AP manager, and there's many different ways to access reports. So if I wanted to go into my menus here on the left, I can go into purchasing AP and go into purchasing reports and access the specific reports from there. Or I can scroll down into reports here and go into the sales and purchasing and go into purchasing reports here. However, the nice thing about configuring your cockpit and making tools efficiently accessible is you can see here on the right is purchase reports. And if I click on the blue, arrow here are all the reports associated with purchasing reports so the first report i'd like to look at is the open items list this is a popular tool that our customers use within the system and it shows all the open orders in the system so right now we're under sales orders but you can see it goes for all transactions so maybe i want to look at all my open ap invoices in the system and it populates that and if i wanted to access a specific ap invoice I can use my drill into arrow feature. And what the open items list is meant to do is, let's say I had a purchase order that I copied to a goods receipt PO to receive my items. That purchase order status is now closed and that goods receipt status is considered open. So it means that you have open status items or reports that you need to continue to work on. So let's say, I go into a goods receipt PO here, and I needed to copy a goods receipt PO to an invoice. I can simply click on the draw into arrow, use the copy to functionality, and copy that invoice. And it shows my exchange rates here. So let's just say the Canadian dollar is 0.74 cents for every $1.13. And I can click update, click OK and it populates that exchange rate information into my AP invoice. So that's a nice, cool feature within the system. Another cool reporting tool is built-in crystal reports. So all reports in Business One have the ability to create custom, or I should say configure crystal reports for every document. So let's say I do a purchase analysis report and I click OK. Let's say we just do it for 2019 posting dates and I click OK. You can see how clean the information is from a purchasing analysis standpoint. I can view the vendor information by clicking on the vendor code and it populates the business partner master data. I can view the, the specific vendor name and it'll take me to the vendor information as well. I can copy this to a PDF, export it to Excel, email it or print it. And as I mentioned, it has built-in crystal reports. So how crystal reports works is you create templates for specific reports and it takes that information from the report created and populates it into a nice clean report here that you have the ability to print out. Another nice feature is this bar graph and I can see specific purchase analysis report from a graphical standpoint or maybe I want to drill into a specific vendor. I can double click there. And from here, it'll populate a purchase analysis report based off of the specific vendor. And if I wanted to pull into that document, I can use my golden link arrow and it'll show me the invoice. So you can see how easy and efficient it is to use the reporting options within Business One. Again, with all reports too, it has a selection criteria. So if I wanted to change my purchase analysis report from a monthly report standpoint, I can certainly do that and click OK. And we can see how it breaks it down by month specifically. So again, it's a very flexible option within the system. That concludes my overview of purchasing reports within SAP Business One. Thank you for listening.